Hey, what's going on guys? Wills will be here back my to back with some more crash landing. This is episode 13 or 14, I believe. One of those. And okay, please don't face palm too hard. I was reading through the comments the last episode, as I do. And yeah. Um saw a couple comments, thought, hey, let me double check this. Looked up a tutorial, and they were right. Um th this is the the wrong way around. It, it has more vessels in it because it was night time before, so apparently something walked in it. But this is the wrong way around, so it's going out here, not in there. Do not face palm too hard, please. So now I have to clear out. Actually, there's not even that many mobs in here, so we're fine. It's a lot of zombies, but other than oh, we can get potatoes. Oh my god. Baby creeper. Okay, is that everything dead? Yep. Ah, uh, that should be everything. Nope. One creeper. Yeah. So I thought that this was the front. No, it's the back. Uh, so I did not know that, but now I do. So if I go like, that's the wrong way. Apparently, I have to put it in this way, like that. There. Now that will kill the mobs in a 5x5 five five area. But what I kind of want to do is, using the conveyor belts, I kind of want to... Uh, I could use that potato actually, but I won't. Uh, I could make this room bigger and then put conveyor belts places to make things go up to there. My question is, will mobs spawn on these conveyor belts? I kind of doubt it, but I want to see if they'll spawn on the conveyor belts. Because if they do, that would be amazing. But, for now, let's block this off so we can start getting stuff. And, as I said at the end of the last episode, uh, let's actually just quickly... Uh, uh, just quickly just do this for a second and then we can put uh, that there and then we'll need to get the mob essence somehow where did all the mob essence go? There was oh I had to break it so I'm, I'm gonna need to somehow get mob essence in here so I'm gonna need a tank on one side uh, not a tank a uh, duct so I'm gonna have to move this into a corner somewhere but I'll figure that out later but last episode I said, uh, I was going to open up the next bar, but I thought, hey, wait a second, I'm going to wait to the next episode to create suspense for people. So, now that this is the next episode, two days later, let's go ahead and, wow, we got a lot of Ferris's box. Anyway, uh, let's do this. Creating life. Open. Oh my god. One up. You only have one life. Uh, oh, this is the... Um, shell sink sink shell stuff i've already done that so i'll leave that for the moment lonely repeatable quest okay you may have noticed a complete lack of native life on this planet outside the hostile mobs luckily i have a solution if you provide if provided some mob essence and the correct e uh, ingredients i can create the animals you want these quests are repeatable the lowly chicken is where this all starts the qu these quests are QDS only, manual submit will not work. So I'm assuming that's because I need a... Okay, this is going to be annoying then. So where is my QDS? I don't know where my QDS is. I think I'm going to have to make another QDS, which is going to suck. But we need mob essence. And we need an egg. We have a lot of eggs. So we just need the mob essence. So we need the mob essence. And to get the mob essence, how do you get mob essence, really? Well, I'm glad you asked. You basically, uh, the grinder just gets the mob essence. See, it's collecting mob essence, which means there was mobs in it. Oh, yeah. Okay, that works. That works a lot. So what I'm actually going to have to do is I'm going to fix up this whole thing, make a bigger room, conveyor belts, and stuff like that, so we can get more mob essence and stuff. And I will be right back. Okay, so what I've got so far is I built this 10 by 10 room and then I put conveyor belts every one block apart so they'll flow into here where the ground will be and everything will die. But I ran out of conveyor belts and am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. No, I'm not. I'm fine. I nearly got stuck there. But if I block this off and then get a grinder going in there and just by doing that, there we go, and then needs to be powered by this survivalist generator there we go so that should in theory just create stuff most of the mobs aren't gonna go uh, most of the mobs aren't gonna die unfortunately but 
We need conveyor belts, and to get conveyor belts, you need conveyor belt. Kobe, Kobe, yes, no. Con veer belts. There we go. So to make a conveyor, whoa, I'm assuming you can dye these different colors. To make a conveyor belt, though, you need redstone, iron ingot, two redstone and iron ingot, and these rubber bars, which you get from smelting either raw rubber or a ball of glue. Now. To get raw rubber, I don't know how. To get ball of glue though, you need rubber wood. So basically, you need a rubber tree. And it just so happens that I have two rubber tree seeds, but I'm only gonna use one. And I also just wanna check this real quick because I turned it off, but I'm not sure if it, eh, that's going down quite a lot. Ugh, whatever, I don't care. Um, so what I'm gonna do, if I just put that there, okay, that does work. If I bone meal this, Oh, hello. Rubbly. That was a creeper over there. That wasn't the thing. That was a creeper. Well, mobs are in here. I can tell that. But the question is... Oh, yeah, things are dying. Things are dying. Mob essence in there. If I right-click this with the bucket... No. Is there any way I can put the... Uh, how do I take this out? I'm going to have to... As I said, I'll have to move this later, so I'll do that. But first of all, why is some of these dry rubber leaves? Okay, what do rubber leaves do, first of all? So if we go to R double B R, rubber, rubber leaves. I can use them as fuel, or I can get a hundred uh, MB with them. So pretty much just fuel, basically. So I don't really need them. What I do need is this rubber wood. Oh, hang on. Do the leaves give you raw rubber? I think the leaves give you raw rubber if they're not dry. Uh, or maybe it's the wood. No, it's the wood. So if you break it, you get raw rubber. So that's pretty cool. So if we just smelt this raw rubber, we will get... Uh, we will get... What do you call it? We will get rubber so we can make more conveyor belts. And actually, how many does that make if I go uh, conveyor belt? How much does that make? 16? Okay, it does make 16. So that's not bad, actually. That's really good. So, what was I doing? I can't remember what I was doing right now. I was grabbing something else. I was grabbing coal. That's right. That's why I came over here. I was going to grab a lot of coal and just have it on me. So, also, I can smelt the rubber wood. And I can make charcoal. And as you know, charcoal is needed to make the... Uh, to make the thingy go. The... Ah, uh, you know what I mean. The high oven. There we go. Sorry. I got I got my words mixed up there. I couldn't really think. Okay. But also, I died. Uh, I was killing Enderman and stuff. And I actually got killed because Endermen do like five hours of damage. They do a lot of damage to you. Like far out high. Whoa! Holy lag. Holy mother of lag right there. I just got a huge lag spike. Oh my god. Okay. Why am I heating up? That's not good. The okay, this skeleton doesn't have teeth. I'm fine. If the skeleton doesn't have teeth, you're basically fine. Basically. So this thing's at 20 degrees, which is just temperature outside, I'm assuming. How's this thing doing? Boom. How's it going? How much mob essence does it have? It has... Still has the same amount of mob essence. It hasn't been doing much. Then again, I just slept. So maybe that's why. But... Actually, we have ender pearls now. Which means we can make the... Ender generator thingy. What? Are these the transfer nodes? Retrieval node. Ooh. Okay. Flux pearls. Safari net. Actually, yes, safari nets are what I need because I want to make the auto. I want to try to make the auto spawner, the auto spawner, uh, auto enchanter, auto spawner. So we need th this is pretty easy to make, but we need slime balls. So slime balls. I don't know how to get slime balls. So if you guys could let me know, that would be great. But we can also use gelatinous slime. Colgated. Wait, we can use colgated blood. I know how to get col colgated blood. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. 
Hold on. Go back to Conglader Bud. There. Blood onto a liquid casting table. I know how to do that. I know how to make that. Yeah. So we can actually get ourselves a, uh, what do you call it then? We can use that and we can get ourselves a, that's not working for some reason. Oh, it doesn't matter. Winnie Water. How's this thing going? Still 1.3? Still 1.3? Apparently nothing's working on it. Mm, I have to look into that later. But, 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 but. Uh, I want to do some quests. I want to try to do as many quests as we can today. So I'm going to set up stuff for that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've been doing quite a bit of stuff off camera. Uh, we've got this thing making a little bit of invar over here. It's just got, uh, making, it's empty now, but it's making invar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. You probably heard that a little interruption, but... We have four crafting sessions here, and you may be wondering what contains in each of them. I'm gonna open the first one now. You guys can see it. Oh my god. Tanks. So tanks, from they're from open box, and they hold 16 liquid. 16 buckets of liquid each. So that means, hopefully, it's actually not what I meant to do. There we go. So if I fill this there though, there we go. So now I have 32 buckets worth. I have 32 buckets worth of stuff, which is gonna be really nice. I've got this survivalist generator over here, generating power. And this thing is overflowing with mobs. Let me just check that this is working. Because if it's not working, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Nope, they're all on it. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, so that's good. So, the next thing in our little list over here is the uh, printed circuit board. So, I went ahead and made a couple of transistors and capacitors. So, we now have printed circuit boards. We can go ahead and put them in here, get some PXR, whatevers. And then, we can make some machine frames. Boom and boom. So, now we have four machine frames. So, we can make four different of these 27 items. So I definitely want to make it a second autonomous activator. So I think I'll go do that now. Two tin, pneumatic server, and a chest. Where is my tin? Two tin. Uh, I have six pneumatic servers, so I can afford to use one. And a chest. So I need two wood. And then one of the other things I want to make is a sawmill, because I can get balls of glue with that, which I can use for something else. So tin... Pneumatic servo and one of the machine frames and there we go. We have a second autonomous activator Which means what we can do is we can have one autonomous activator doing this uh, Collecting gravel uh, Turning it into uh, Yeah, turning it into gravel and then have this vacuum hopper Put this vacuum hopper and send it into this autonomous activator Actually, wait, no, that wouldn't work actually Hmm Hmm, I could pull Gravel. I could put an item duct in here, connect it over to here, and have it black whitelist gravel. So it only takes gravel out of here, so it goes into there. That's what I'll probably do. So I will definitely do that. I want to make a sawmill. How do I make a sawmill? Because with sawmill, I can get these ball of balls of glue. Ah, uh, that's not it. Balls of glue, and I can use this ball of glue to get a. If I can find it. Oh crap! I know it's here somewhere. There's something that I wanted to make, and I can't remember what it was, but it was something. Oh, magma cream. Magma cream, so that I can make this auto spawn, which will auto spawn items if I have a safari net, which safari net requires four ender pearls, if I'm not mistaken. Four ender pearls and a ghast deer. I have ghast deers. I have like five ghast deers from when I was sieving soul sand. I'm hoping I didn't chuck them away. Oh, I might have chucked them away. Oh, no. I still got one here. Okay. So, let's quickly just check if we have any... Uh, it's not what I wanted to do. Let's see if we have any... I really got to get water, but I'll do that in a second. I'm going to check if we have five ender pearls in here. We've got six. Okay. So, this thing apparently has my looting on it. Maybe if I'm holding out my sword, it counts. Or maybe just it just has it on there. And it allows for rare drops. I'm not actually 100% sure on that. But we can sleep. 
and then we will be able to do some cool stuff. So we need to make a sawmill so we can put the rubber wood in there and we can get some balls of whatever, balls of glue, there we go. And then if we make those balls of glue, we can use them in substitute of slime balls because I have no idea how to get slime balls and we can make uh, we can make magma creams, which we could use to make the auto spawner. And this stuff is full, so I'm gonna need to. Where is my bottles? My bottles are in here, aren't they? Yes, they are. Uh, you know, I didn't actually think. I didn't actually think that Enderman would be able to spawn in there because it's three blocks high. So you wouldn't think they'd be able to spawn in there, but apparently they can. So one, two, three, four. There we go. Uh, actually, that only did two. Actually. That's fine. Oh, hi, Enderman. Please don't bother me. You don't bother me, I don't bother you. It's as simple as that, bro. Simple as that. Nope, not what I wanted. There we go. Let's fill this up. And now we have water for days. So we have a second autonomous activator. So let's... You know what? Why not? Just because we're going to get a lot of diamonds anyway. Let's make four... Uh, let's make two stone uh, diamond hammers and we'll make the rest iron because we have so much iron. Because we, we honestly have a lot of iron now. And it's not hard to get it because we can triple it. And with this method, we're going to get we're gonna be getting a lot of iron anyway. So this is going to be good. So we can do that. And we can go ahead and... This... Look... Long sword, this long sword, I really like this. It's really good. Okay. Also, I have my skin back. It's a miracle. Oh, is this thing done? Okay, that thing's done. That's good. Uh, put that away in there. I gotta grab. Crap, my inventory's so full. I gotta clear stuff out. Rubber saplings, I'll need to use in a minute here. Water bottle. Uh, I had that water bottle on me. I'm just stupid. Okay. Where. Is there's an ender pearl there? What am I looking for? I just completely forgot what I'm looking for. God damn it! God freaking damn it! I was looking for six. There we go. Wood. I've got six in here though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, hang on. That's four and two. That's six. Six or so twelve. I need twelve. There we go. So it's not gonna fill up all the way. But it will be enough. There we go. Diamond hammers, 1,561 durability. So this thing will be going for a while. Which will be nice. How did you get here? One shot. Okay. So we can hook this onto here. But we won't set that on yet. And then we can... You know, I'm going to do this off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so I can't think, seem to get this thing to work. So I think this is going to do it for the episode. Sorry that it's slightly short, but I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Nonetheless, if you did, be sure to smash that like button. Let's see if we can smash 30 likes as usual. That would be amazing. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.